Welcome back to another walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle, and today we are looking at a 2019 Coleman Lantern 274BH model. This one is a bunkhouse travel trailer. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a peek at the outside, not too much to look at, a couple compartments, check out the weights, and then we'll jump inside. So first off, you do have a nice exterior solar connection here. So you could plug in a panel if you're staying at a lake and need some extra power. You can see your nice big storage under under area storage, you know, front storage compartment. The awning is electric and you do have an LED strip that's under it. I didn't want to put it out all the way. You can see the leaves on that palm tree. They are a blade are blowing. So I didn't want to uh, rip an awning off and piss off my owner. But it's a uh, metal, metal sided trailer. You do have another extra little storage area right back here, which is kind of nice. You don't usually get those. If I'm not mistaken, this thing is about 27 and some change, 28 feet long. Got an area for a backup camera there. I like the water heater location in the rear. Spare tire. Try to avoid the sun. Single AC unit, 30 amp power service. It's got stab jacks down there, front and back. You can see your dump station there, external shower, a couple water connections, coaxial right there. Fresh water fill, back of the furnace. I must have had an issue with this one. A little bit of tape, excess duct tape on it. That should all clean up pretty easily. And then your weight. So this thing loaded is 7,600 pounds. And it looks like got cargo of 2,870. Basic math. Let's see. 5, 4, 4,900 roughly. Light or dry, I should say. And then up front you got two propane tanks, a battery, and then a, uh, a manual kind of front leveler. I don't know why I can't remember the name of this right now. Figure it out eventually. There you go. Alright, let's, uh, let's jump inside and see uh, what the interior looks like. Standing in the doorway. This is kind of your first what you see. Now it's a pretty unique floor plan. It has a couch right here. And then it has the bed back there with the little curtain. So that's actually where we're going to start. So you got a queen bed. Got two wardrobes on either side and two drawers. Now this is all like this because that under storage right below this bed. So you got two that size. And we got two drawers. Looks like you do have power there, USB there for phones or a CPAP machine. There is some under bed storage. And then you do have an area to mount a TV up there if you want. And they may have had one there already with those holes. But it's kind of cool because you can't, I mean, it's not the, you know, the most separation. But you can shut that curtain and at least give you a little bit. You can still kind of see through. <laughs> so the couch right here, it could be a sleeper. It's a jackknife, flipped up, pull out. It does also have a nice little drop down there. So pretty cool. I mean, good location for it too. Now, another TV would be mounted right there. So it would actually work out well. Right when you walk into this coach, that is your main kind of control panel. Pretty cool little butterfly here. Uh, what do we got? Water pumps, awning, and then of course your level testers. AC right in the middle. It's not ducted. It does come out of that unit right there. And then of course your kitchen. And what I'll do, I'll put you guys on pause. We'll check out all the compartments in this thing. And then a dinette here. This is a booth dinette. We'll sleep. They say two. I say two kids. Uh, selling this bad boy for 18 grand, 17,995. You can see the GVWR, the total length 28.7 there, it looks like. And then, of course, you've got some bunks, but we'll get there. What I'm gonna do, let me open up the compartments in the kitchen and the fridge and all that good stuff. We'll check that out. All right, so everything is open in the kitchen. Now, these two compartments above the couch here, they're not on like struts or anything, they're just kind of lift in place. Right to the left of that. Right above the sink, got a nice big massive compartment. So your two bay sink there, and it is. It's not corine, it looks like corine, it's kind of more of a veneer finish. See a couple drawers there, a couple little storages there. Oh my God, did we just get a freaky cast iron? Oh. I don't tell the boss about that, take that bad boy home. Three burner gas stove top. Does have a hood with a light and a fan. A little microwave. And then directly to the left, freezer. And of course, fridge. Propane or electric. It is a uh, 
the Medic for Agenting see up here, it does have your little auto settings. Now right behind us, we have a couple more storage compartments. Nothing too crazy, all combined. You can see we have the area where you could, uh, that would hook up to your TV. That would be mounted right here. And that's it in the main area. You do have one kind of small storage down below. Hard to see, but it is there. Your bunk area, they're huge. Almost like a corner bed setup on some of these smaller class C's. You can fit two small kids on there pretty easily, even adults. Now, the bunks, of course, the mattresses, dog beds to an extent. So good for kids or somebody who is uh, very drunk. Your toilet, and then of course, van, they, oh, I like the top they did in here, that looks good. Little plastic sink, little medicine cabinet. There is a vent in here, not a fan. Maybe you wanna put a fantastic fan in. And then of course your bathtub. At least that's what they call it. Now, one thing, I, you know what, I haven't been doing it as much lately, but I should probably get in this. I'm 5'9", about 5'11", maybe six foot it's about that cutoff so some of the point out no vent in there or no uh, skylight in there for you taller people and hey that's about it 2019 coleman oh sorry about that coleman lantern 274 bh selling it for 17.995 if you enjoyed the video please let me know leave me a comment leave me a like all that good stuff if you have any questions, go ahead, comment down below. Let me know what they are, and I will try to get to them as fast as possible. Thank you so much for viewing this video of our 2019 Coleman Lantern, and I hope you guys have a great day.